This letter details over 20 violations from rats to overflowing toilets. Today, these tenants were served with an eviction notice, but they say it's not their fault. Jendai Scott Miller is known as the angel of Edgewood to the community she volunteers to feed, but clients don't know what she comes home to on Edgewood Street. There's black mold, there's mushrooms, um, sewage in the basement, bugs, uh, rats. A city eviction notice on the front door Tuesday, listing a Texas-based landlord. But Scott Miller says that's not who she's been dealing with for four years. The names have been switched so many times, so many different LLCs. She's hired her own carpenters and plumbers to fix problems since moving in, like black mold and sewage, which she fears could explain why her daughter Olivia suffers with migraines. And the mold is above the ceiling. It smells like sewage just coming from the basement in our main hallway. Jasmine Fuller lives on the third floor, a unit with no back exit the city condemned last fall. So he told me in case of emergency to buy the fire kit off of Amazon, you know, that drops the ladder out the window. But the landlord is not in Texas. Hi Ace, it's Samaya calling from Fox 61. And Alib Enterprises is based in Bloomfield, according to the city of Hartford, which selected the company to develop a host of large properties in the city's distressed North End, along the major thoroughfare, Albany Avenue. We asked landlord Amber Ace and Alib to respond to his tenants' concern. Time to resolve the problem. Can I call you back in a few? Long-standing tenants say their concerns are bigger than this three-family home. I don't want him to give him anything else until he fix what he already has. We also discovered a lien involving this landlord from over five years ago with the Department of Justice, but that case is sealed. In the studio, I'm Samaya Hernandez, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.